This morning, Israel defiantly pressing its ground offensive deeper into Gaza, despite growing international pressure for a ceasefire. Israel releasing these videos with an on-the-ground perspective of tanks firing amid apocalyptic devastation in northern Gaza. Whole streets turned to rubble. Israel says over 200,000 Palestinians have now fled south. Israel refusing to back down despite desperate pleas as its forces close in on Gaza's main hospitals. The World Health Organization this morning saying it's lost contact with Al-Shifa Hospital, Gaza's largest medical complex. Hundreds of patients are trapped there. Doctors say without electricity, water or food, as fighting rages around it and strikes hit it. Israel says Hamas has a headquarters under the hospital and told people to evacuate. But a top doctor there telling Ahmad Gutman recently that's impossible. What would happen if you did have to evacuate all the people who still remain? If you say evacuate the patients, you mean you want me to kill at least 100 patients at one second. Doctors at Al-Shifa now warning nearly 40 premature babies in incubators are at risk, with fuel almost running out, saying two have already died. The IDF overnight saying today it will try to help evacuate the babies. Despite the deepening humanitarian catastrophe, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu overnight flatly rejecting any ceasefire unless Hamas releases its 240 Israeli hostages. Netanyahu saying Israel will not stop until Hamas is destroyed. Calls for Israel to pause its assault are mounting as protests grow in Western countries. In London, hundreds of thousands joining a pro-Palestinian protest Saturday, marching on the U.S. Embassy. Arab and Muslim leaders also gathering for a summit in Saudi Arabia Saturday, where Iran and Saudi's leaders made a rare joint call for an immediate ceasefire. But Netanyahu saying no international pressure will deter Israel, saying it will stand against the world if necessary. Netanyahu last night also rebuffing a U.S. proposal that the Palestinian Authority should take over Gaza once this war ends, Israel making clear that it has no intention right now of scaling back its assault. Patrick Rebel, ABC News, Sarot, Israel.